Full details of the Google Nexus 5 get leaked in a service manual. Samsung's future 13 megapixel shooter plans to revolutionize their image quality. And we get more details on the Nokia Lumia tablet. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you hear me say the phrase as it turns out more than once on this video, please call me out. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the single piece of official news that's actually great news for those of you owning an HTC One on AT&T. If you're waiting for Android 4.3, the company's president in the United States has confirmed that it's gotten approved by AT&T, and you should expect it to be pushed on your phone as soon as early next week. So please hit that upgrade button and tell us what you think about the upgrade next week. Now let's talk about Nokia's. We've got some leaked photographs that show us their future tablet, and it's got this really interesting kickstand concept that we want to understand, hopefully very soon. It's apparently going to be called the Lumia 2520. I wonder where they get these numbers, but apparently we might see this tablet by the end of this year, probably earlier, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully it'll be better than anything we already know from Windows RT. Now let's talk about Samsung as the company has now trademarked the name Galaxy Round. No, don't look at me funny. That's the name, Galaxy Round. We've heard the company working on the F-series of smartphones, which we assume are the flexible display smartphones for later this year, but it seems that they're going to be calling it Galaxy Round. So stop laughing. We've got some better news now. Apparently, the company has just confirmed that their optical stabilized cameras are ready for production next year. So we can expect them to reach the future Galaxy S and Galaxy Note. Apparently the Galaxy Flex, Round, or F, or whatever they're going to call that thing is not going to include this camera, uh, which is really sad news. And speaking of curved displays, if you thought that LG was just planning to bring us some curved glass, well, it doesn't end there. The company has just sent their flexible OLEDs into production for smartphones. So we can expect this to be the new technology that we will get next year, or probably by the end of this year, some rumors are pointing out. Though I, you know, I still can't understand. Fine, you know, those flexible OLEDs will be awesome. A curved display will be awesome, but I see this as the next 3D on displays for smartphones. Uh, they're gonna be the next gimmick, sadly. That's my opinion. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we've got a leaked service manual of the Google Nexus 5. And yeah, dudes, this is gonna be a very hot phone. We're talking about a Snapdragon 800 processor, two gigs of RAM, 16 or 32 gigs of storage, a decent battery, and an eight megapixel optical image stabilized camera as well. Finally, we get some great camera shots from a Nexus smartphone. But you know, the biggest question and the question that I have for you today is, what would you price this phone? I mean, think about it. It's got all the specs of the Note 3 of the LG G2, except for the cameras, obviously. But you know, with optical limit stabilization, you don't really need more pixels, as long as those pixels are big, and hopefully they are. Uh, so yeah, what would be the price that you would give this phone? In my particular case, if they priced this thing at $300, no contract, even if they priced it at $350, this will be the biggest selling smartphone ever. I mean, there is nothing to envy from the hottest phones on this Nexus phone, which brings the Nexus back to the days, the glorious days of the Nexus one. So leave us a comment down below. What would you price this thing? And friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.